Building a foldable is hard. Building a good foldable is even harder. TCL almost did it. It had a device nearly ready for sale later this year. But instead of hitting stores, this new foldable got samsung out of existence. This is the story of Project Chicago and how TCL nearly released a device that helped it play in the big leagues. We got our hands on a prototype to show you what might have been. You probably haven't heard of TCL. If you have, you likely know it's affordable TVs. It also makes cheap Alcatel phones and even sold Blackberries for a while. It wants to turn TCL into a brand we all know. But as LG, Sony, and countless other companies can attest, selling phones in the US isn't exactly easy. Most of us end up buying iPhones or Samsung Galaxy devices. TCL wanted to win over Americans with cheap foldables. Over the past two years, it showed reporters all kinds of devices and said it would launch its first product in 2021. One TCL foldable phone could become a watch when wrapped around the wrist. A 10-inch tablet could fold into thirds, making it more compact for toting around. Another phone design had a screen you could pull out to turn into a tablet. And a more futuristic model had foldable and rollable displays in the same device. For the first foldable it would actually sell, TCL settled on a clamshell design like Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip and Motorola's Razer. It's basically a modern version of the flip phone with a foldable touchscreen inside. In the case of TCL's model we tested, the crease is less noticeable than rival foldables. And the device is almost ready, except for some tweaks to features like the software and the hinge. The biggest advantage Project Chicago would have over rivals is its price. TCL didn't want to sell a $2,000 foldable like the Z Fold or a device that costs even half that much. It wanted to sell a product that more of us could actually afford, but it just couldn't do it. And it turned out that Samsung's new Z Flip 3 wasn't as expensive as people thought it would be. The cheapest TCL could get with Project Chicago was $800. If you're spending that much, you might as well spend a couple hundred more for a brand you know, like that $1,000 Z Flip 3. What hurt pricing for TCL was component cost. The company says materials like the display and chips cost about 30% more than before the pandemic because of the component shortage. That even includes parts it builds itself, like the screens. At the same time, US carriers aren't really interested in pushing more foldables. They care more about 5G phones right now, and besides, they already have Samsung's third generation foldables to sell. TCL said it decided to kill its foldable before Samsung's unpacked event in August, but seeing the Z Flip 3 really cemented its decision. Project Chicago can't really compete with the Z Flip 3 when it comes to specs. It may look similar, but it's a little thicker, a little wider, and a little heavier. And the front screen is smaller. Those probably wouldn't be deal breakers for consumers, but other things could be. Project Chicago isn't water resistant like the Z Flip 3, and it's not as sturdy. It uses Qualcomm's Snapdragon 765G processor, which isn't as fast or as powerful as the Z Flip 3's Snapdragon 888. Project Chicago also has a slower version of 5G and couldn't be used on Verizon's ultra-wideband network. It took Samsung three generations of foldables to finally come out with devices that are durable and affordable enough for normal consumer use. TCL isn't there yet. Now TCL is starting over. The company says its future device could look a lot like Project Chicago, but it won't be the same product. And it's going to be at least a year before we actually see this thing in stores. For now, Samsung's $1,000 Z Flip 3 could be the cheapest foldable. And Samsung's probably going to keep its hold on the market. Project Chicago never stood a chance. For CNET News, I'm Shara Tipkin. Thanks for watching.